Hello everyone, Aaron here from ASM Computing. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you how to make a page secure so no one can actually view its content. Now, basically I'm going to be using a login script. Um, it's not going to be a lot of coding, literally 10 to 15 lines before you actually put in the content you want to put in. Um, it's literally going to be one page, so the index page and the login page is going to be integrated into one so there will be no login and then go into another page it will all be set in one page the only page that will be different and will be on its own is the logout script now the only reason I'm using that is as we're using a login I'm using a, a session start so I want to be able to destroy the session so as you can see I'm using my local host and I'm going into a folder I've known secrets up just so I know which actual uh, folder this tutorial is for and then I've just got my index.php now as you can see it's just a standard login script it's nothing different to any other login script you see if I right click go to view page source you can actually see I've just got my title which is my secret data which is right here then I've just got my h1 tags with login which is this part here and then after that I've just got the form tags and inside the form tags is just the input type for or the input box sorry for the username and password so as you can see there's nothing else sorry nothing else here apart from that so if I close that now I'll show you what I'm, what uh, happens when you do login so I've just made a username and a password as I say it's on my local host so I don't mind showing you this as obviously local host won't be shown or won't be able to be accessed by other people and as this is just a tutorial I won't be using this um, I won't be using this page to do anything on my actual website and I won't actually be using this username and password so if I click login you'll see that we'll still be on the same page we haven't changed as I said it will stay to the same page and I've just put a little description of this is my secret information which no one can view you can only see this if you log in using the username and password and then I've just simply made a logout button or a clickable link for a logout obviously you can design and style this out however you want and I've just basically put a standard default picture that you get with windows in there it was just the quickest and easiest place I could find a picture so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you that if I was to go to YouTube um, and right click and go to view page source it will show you all of their information that is actually in this page so they have everything in here as you can see it's quite a lot and basically if we go back to the page where our picture and our description are and right click and go to view page source you see that we only have the same as what I showed you from the login page so nothing can actually be seen whether you try to log in without knowing the username and password or even trying to right click to view it so it's a very handy little piece of script and it does work for any type of secret information that you don't want others to view so I'll just show you if I click log out it'll just take me straight back to the login page and as again I'll just show you again view page source and there's nothing there other than the, the login script again so I'll, do, I'll just open up Dreamweaver and I'll talk you through the code and obviously you can change whatever you need to change I'll tell you which, what parts to change or where it needs to be changed for your stand or your sorry your specifics 
So what I've done, I've started a PHP tag here, an opening one, and I've done a closing tag here. And then I've set my session start right at the top. And basically I've echoed a title tag with my secret data and enclosed the title tag. Now my secret data, as I said before, that was what was shown here. Then I've just put a description in for define your username and password. This is just a static username and password. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a username and password from your database. But just as this is a tutorial, I'm just using a static. And you can also use a static if you like to. So I've just set the username as demo and the password as demo123. So once we've done that, we say if post username does not equal username, that's what this means, does not, or, so, two lines, which means or, post password, again, does not equal password, so basically we're saying if the username you input doesn't equal the username you have here and the password doesn't equal the password you have here then we will show them the login page so basically just the form name of form method equals post obviously we want to post the details and the action is just going to be to server php self now this just means once it uh, sends that information, it will just post back to itself and it will read back through this. So if it comes back and it reads down and it comes to this line and it finds that that doesn't match with what we have here, it will just come back to this form. Else it will show us what we have with our content. So we just have the label, which is text username and username you can obviously change these to whatever you want and then the input type of text title equals enter your username and the name equals username basically we do the same for the password but with the password the input type you want to make password just so then you get the black stars or the black dots so that people can't actually see what you're typing in. Um, if you was to put that as text, it would obviously show each letter or number or whatever you type in, it would show. So put that as password and that will keep that from being viewed. Then after that, we're just doing submit, name equals submit and value equal, equals, sorry, login. Now the value just basically means what's shown on the button so if we go back here we just see that it says login which is the value which i have here login so we end the form then we open up another php tag and close it and between these we put a curly brace a closing curly brace else and an opening curly brace so if you know your if and else statements this is exactly what we're doing, but we're just, sorry, <coughs> sorry, we're just uh, putting it between these tags and splitting it between the form. So, else, so if the username and password do match what we have here, this is what it's going to be shown. So this is the little bit of information I wrote in. As you can see, this is the logout part that I put in. I've just got a a link a href equals logout.php and logout which is what is shown and then close off the a tag and I've just put a couple of break tags these here are just spaces so just to shift it over which I'll show you in a minute and to get these you can either write and nsbp sorry and nbsp semicolon or you can just do control shift and space the next line is just the image source so this is where the image is 
actually set inside your script so if it was in say your images folder you would just simply write right here you would just put images slash because we want to go into the images folder then you just put the name of the picture here but obviously mine is within the index page so I'm just going to leave it like that then at the bottom we just put another opening PHP tag and close it off and between that we just put another closing curly brace which would end this else statement so this part here is basically what makes it secure so no one can actually view it so it's as easy as that all the content you want to put between here that you don't want anyone to see you put between this closing curly brace uh, sorry this closing PHP tag and this opening PHP tag so anything between here is what will be displayed to the user that logs in with that username and password so whether you use it for yourself or make it for someone else this is what will be shown so if we go back and as I said there's nothing different it's all the same so as I said if I type in demo again and demo123 click login as I said we'll be taken to the page and as I said before here's the image and here's that part of the information I wrote in which is what's displayed here and as I said before here's the spaces between the full stop to the logout link which is what the NSPB was that's what these were here just two spaces else if I take them out you actually see if I save that and go back and refresh you'll see that it will actually close right up against the password oh sorry yeah where the password is written there isn't very much gap there so obviously I want to put a bit of a gap so as I said just control shift space space I'll put three in this time just give it one more uh, one more space and just refresh continue and you'll see it'll jump over a little bit there we go so we're just spacing it out a bit so yeah that's uh, an easy way to lock or make certain data you have or want within that PHP script to be accessed only by the user that logs in with the right credentials and as I said before if you click view page source nothing is shown apart from that which is just the login form so it is really useful as I said the page doesn't change even when you click log out it just literally takes you back to the same page so nothing changes whatsoever everything is on one page as I said the only thing that's different is a log out page which is a separate PHP page but it will automatically take you back to the index page which is the login script which has everything there so I hope this is useful to you guys and I hope it can be used anywhere on your site or anywhere you need it so I will have some more tutorials up soon and enjoy. Cheers guys.